In this video, I'm going to show you the second step to solve the 2 by 2s Rubik's Cube. But before I show you how to do step 2, I want to show you what the cube should look like once step 2 is finished. So step 2 is finished when you have 4 matches. And what does this mean? So let's take a look at this corner cube. We have blue and purple. Up here, we also have blue and purple. Now I want you to ignore white and yellows, and this would be a match. Over here, we have green and purple. Up here, we also have green and purple, so that is a match. This is also a match, and that's also a match. So once you have four matches, step two is finished. Usually after you solve step one, you won't have four matches yet. So how many matches does this cube have right now? Well, let's see. This one has blue, pink. Up here is purple, green. So that is not a match. This one has blue and purple. This one has blue and pink. So that's not a match either. This one is purple, green, green, pink, not a match. Here is green and pink and blue and purple. So at the moment, there are zero matches. When you have zero matches, you need to match one. So let's pick this corner cube and we rotate the top until we have a match. Now we have a match. So this one is green and pink. This one is also green and pink. So now we have one match. At the moment, we have one match. Let's see over here. This one is blue and pink, purple and blue, not a match. Purple, blue, green, purple, not a match. Purple, green, blue and pink, not a match. So we only have one match. And the reason why I'm checking all the other quarter cubes is because you may have more than one matches and I'll discuss what we should do in that case. So at the moment we have this match and I want you to put it on the side like this. And what you wanna do is clock, clock, counter, counter, clock, counter, counter, clock. So we always start at the top. So clock, clock, counter, counter, clock, counter, counter, clock. And check the corners again. Here is a match. This one is a match. This one is also a match. And this one is a match. So we now have four matches, which means step two is done. So what happens when you have more than one matches? This one is a match because we have blue, purple, blue, purple. That is a match. This one is not a match because this one is purple, green, green and pink. This one is green and pink, purple and green, not a match blue and pink and blue and pink. So this is a match. Currently we have two matches, this one and this one. So what you want to do is just pick the one that does not match. So I'll pick, I'll pick this one because this one doesn't match. This one has green and purple and green and pink. And you want to hold it with your right hand like this so that it is on the side like this. And you do clock, clock, counter, counter, clock, counter, counter, clock, 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 counter, counter, clock, counter, counter, clock. And check the corners again. This one is a match. This one here is also a match. This one is a match. And this one is a match. So you now have four matches, which means that step two is finished. And that's it for step number two. You should practice a few times until you feel confident, and then we'll move on to step three, which is the last step to solving the two by twos Rubik's Cube. 